everyone, so glad to have you here for this video on one of my favorite makeup related topics and that is dupes. If you're not familiar with what a dupe is, it's basically um, like a drugstore alternative to a high-end product. So you're finding something that looks the same, performs the same, um, but has a lower price tag. I've done a lot of dupes videos already, but I'm especially excited about this one because it's a collaboration with Melissa. Um, her channel is Mel MPHS, or I just sometimes think of it as MELFs. <laughs> But she's awesome, and she's got a lot of insight as well where makeup's concerned. She's very entertaining, funny, fun to watch, and uh, she likes dupes too. So where dupes are concerned, the more the merrier, right? So if you watch this video um, and you want to stroll on over to her video, that would be awesome. For this video, the focus is on eye products, and I've got a bunch of eyeliners. That's sort of a territory I haven't really touched yet where dupes are concerned. So I've got a bunch of eyeliner dupes, and you might be thinking, oh, matching a black liner to another black liner. Good job! Uh, but it's really uh, about the formula, the staying power. I really have uh, a high standard where eyeliner is concerned and I'm really frustrated with liners that don't do what they say they're going to do. So I can say with confidence that I've found dupes that really perform as well as the high-end kind. Also, I've already duped most of the MAC shadows that I own. I already have a video on that. Um, I'll link to that below as well so you can see uh, what some of those alternatives are from the drugstore. So with this video, I thought I'd do something different. I thought I'd take some of the most popular palettes like Naked One and Dude. some Too Faced palettes and different ones and come up with some comparable drugstore palettes. Not duping each individual shade in the palette with a single shadow, but finding another palette that really can perform the same way as those other ones. So I'm going to try to zip through these kind of quickly, but you're going to see pictures of the products and pictures of the swatch too. Um, but as far as just a classic black pencil liner, um, um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Zero. It's kind of a standard. I know a lot of people are familiar with this pencil. It does glide on very easily and has really nice staying power. But from the drugstore, actually a whole line of eyeliners, you're going to see a lot more of these um, that really compare to the Urban Decay are the NYX Slide-On Liners. These are also in a pencil form. You do have to sharpen them just like you have to sharpen these. Um, but the texture is so much the same. You can really, if you swatch it, you know, rub right across it, get some moisture in contact with it, it really lasts a long time. Now if you're a fan of the automatic liners that twist up instead of being something you have to sharpen, um, I've got some alternatives there as well for great black eyeliners. These particularly are really nice eyeliners in the waterline. Um, one of my best of all time eyeliners in the waterline is the Mally Evercolor Automatic Waterproof Liner in Onyx. It's a mouthful of a name there. I find it to be creamy, but it's not as creamy maybe as these that I mentioned, the Urban Decay um, and the NYX. So therefore, that little bit of dryness, I think, helps it adhere better to your waterline. And it just seems to really last a long, long time. It seems to outlast everything. But I found something else that's really, really comparable. And it's the Milani Liquid Eye. It's the Liquid Like, it says, eyeliner pencil in black. And um, so don't get me wrong, this is not a liquid eyeliner. This is a pencil, but they're saying it basically glides on as easy as liquid. And it really seems to last a long, long time in the waterline. So I think that's a great option. Another great drugstore automatic pencil that lasts almost as well as the Mali and the Milani um, is the Maybelline Master Drama, Midnight Master. A wonderfully intense, rich black liner. If you can't find the Milani, um, I would definitely go for this. I've recommended this countless times. I'm really, really impressed by that line. Rich Dark Chocolate Brown. Um, that's a great kind of liner to have in your collection. A really nice one, um, color-wise, great pigmentation. Too Faced, um, Perfect Eyes Waterproof Liner in Perfect Espresso. I would definitely debate the waterproof claim on this one, but color-wise, it's a gorgeous, rich, dark brown. And one from the drugstore that you can get that is going to really have better staying power, love it when that happens, is the NYX Slide-On Liner in Brown Perfection. Um, same richness and color, better staying power. Moving into some deeper yet very wearable eyeliner colors, um, it's nice to have a navy blue. Um, using navy blue liners, I think, can really make the whites of your eyes look a little bit brighter. It can also be really flattering on brown eyes. Love using a nice navy blue. And um, a really great liner um, is from Tarte. It's the Emphasize Aqua Gel Eyeliner. 
I'm not even sure if they still make these, but I remember using this and thinking, oh, it glides on like butter. It works so well. I mean, it's just very easy to use and a gorgeous, you know, true navy shade. And a really nice one comparable from the drugstore is the Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeliner. The shade is Twilight Blue. I actually really enjoy these Neutrogena eyeliners. I think they're very easy to use. Um, you can smudge them out too. They have that nice little, um, like, smudger tip and a little built-in sharpener in the bottom. If you like those great mossy kind of olive green colors, a really pretty one from Urban Decay is called Mildew. Maybe you're familiar with this color. It really does have a nice um, semi-metallic finish to it, but still a lot of nice green intensity and a dead on color dupe for this and a dupe for that nice creamy formula and staying power is that Milani Liquid Eye. Um, again, we mentioned this in the black shade earlier, but this is the one that's just called green. And it's not that bright, you know, Kelly green. It is more that olive green, just like Mildew from Urban Decay. Did I mention the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils are a lot like the NYX Slide On Liners? Because I got a couple more recommendations for you here. Um, this one is the Urban Decay 24-7 in Electric. This is great for that trend that you see a lot where people are sort of popping their lower lash line with a little bit of a bright teal color, or this is kind of like a light turquoise. I think it's really, really pretty. And a great drugstore shade that mimics that tone exactly is the NYX Slide On Liner in Azure. It's gonna give you that very same look, um, same staying power, gorgeous color for summer. Where are my purple fans? I've got a great purple idea for you here. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Pencil in Ransom. It's kind of a unique purple. Um, it's not just flat purple color, but it's got a little bit of a, a unique sheen to it. So I was actually really surprised to find something like this in the NYX Slide On Liner in Purple Blaze. Another gorgeous purple color um, and something to keep in mind with these more colorful shades like the blue I just talked about or this one. These can be great. They're so creamy. You know, go all over your lid and use it as like a colorful base and then top it off with something else. You know, these are really pretty versatile shades too. One more thing. I just really want to give a shout out to one single eyeliner that I kind of rediscovered in my collection as I was looking for dupes and I couldn't find anything that I had high-end that was exactly like this one but I think this blue is stunning it's um, if you like something that, that's a little more bluish than navy try the Maybelline Master Drama in Sapphire Strength it is a knockout blue. For an inner rim brightener, I know I've mentioned this before, but I thought I'd give it a shout out again if you missed it. Um, it's the Tarte Emphasize Inner Rim Brightener. Love this, love the staying power. I really can't say anything bad about it. Plus you don't have to sharpen it. So I mean, this is just a great, solid, awesome product. But if you wanna save some money from the drugstore, it's Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. Same kind of brightening effect. Um, impressive staying power for something you're gonna put on the waterline as well. I've had so many tweets of people saying, I tried that Rimmel Scandalize and love it. So this has become a must have for a lot of people. I don't have tons of high end um, cream and liquid liners, but I did find a real um, similarity in a couple that I have here. Um, it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Liner in black, and I have it from the Call of the Wild collection. So it's got this cute little um, leopard print top to it, but this is this is a kind of standard liner that they do have in their collection all the time, just different packaging. But it's a very, very rich and creamy um, liner that sets to a very long wearing sort of state. And a really nice one from the drugstore that I feel like texture wise seems exactly the same is the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner and it's in blackest black. This one uh, really wears wonderfully throughout the day, so I would highly recommend that. All right, now it's palette time. I don't know if anybody's heard of these before. Naked, naked palettes? Yeah. Everybody loves these things, and um, you know, if you have them, chances are they're a must have in your collection, but to this day, I get tweets from people saying, have you found another palette that's just like it that I could, you know, get and spend less money on? And uh, I actually have found something that I think you're really gonna love that has overlap from both of those naked palettes in one palette. My friends, this is from Forever 21. Yes, Forever 21. I spent less than $10 on this thing and it has some amazingly textured eyeshadows. I'm serious. It's one thing to dupe a product and just dupe a color and come up with the comparable color, but these textures 
surprised me so much. It, I mean, like the surprise of, of Wet n Wild being as good as it is, these are amazing too. This palette has um, a lot of pearly, shimmery shades. It has several metallic shades. It has, um, I would say, three totally matte colors. It has like a matte light brown, a matte warm brown, and a matte black. Now I'm not saying every single color in here is an Urban Decay naked dupe of some kind, but I find that a lot of them really are comparable and if you're talking about getting a similar look, you could wear this and tell everybody you used an Urban Decay palette. They probably believe you. I'm not trying to encourage lying here, but uh, this is really good stuff. Great blendability. And I got this on a whim. I ordered it online. I didn't know that it was going to be as good as it was, but talk about being pleasantly surprised. This is awesome. I think the balance of light, medium, and dark shades in this is really good um, to allow you to have some variety in the kind of looks you put together, but as you've seen in the pictures that I'm showing, you know, there are some actual matches for some of those naked palettes, so I just really wanted to give this a mention as a very affordable way to get the looks that you get from the naked palettes. Two Faced Boudoir Eyes. This is a really pretty palette that came out, um, I think it came out a little bit before Valentine's Day, and uh, this, in this palette, you're talking about a mix of some light pinks, things getting a little bit purple, taupe, gray, and the NYX Butt Naked Eyes. I tell you, has a surprising amount of similarities with um, not only the peachy light shades, but also some of the deeper colors. Um, and plus you're getting some really large shadows in this uh, NYX palette as well. A really big mirror. And um, as NYX likes to throw in with a lot of their products, you're getting like a separate little face tray underneath as well with four blushes, a um, couple highlights, and a bronzer. And I think you're going to find some shades in here where you maybe have to work a little harder to make the color come off just like the boudoir eyes, but at the same time there are also some shades in here that do have the same color payoff and are a little less flaky, so that's good to know as well. One of my favorite all-time um, Too Faced palettes is probably the Natural at Night. I love all of the browns in here, some really rich colors colors. They throw in some sort of olive green type shades. It's beautiful. I love working with this. You know what? I also love my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I never really stopped to think that these two actually have a lot of overlap. There are some shades, you know, like matte shades in here that aren't in here. But in terms of really similar color families here, I mean, there's so much that's the same. And I find what I don't maybe like about this Too Faced palette, I do like better in the Wet n Wild. For example, um, these shades called Night Light and Full Moon, they're some of those ultra shimmery um, shades. And if you know Too Faced well, you know they have some shadows that tend to be a little bit flaky, like glitter comes out everywhere. Um, this gorgeous eyelid shade here in the Wet n Wild palette doesn't do that. It just gives you rich kind of pinky peach color that I love. The crease shade right here in the Wet n Wild palette is just like Night Fever, that deepest olive green down there in the corner. And if you want to get this shade called um, Moonstone, it's sort of a greenish yellow, guess what? mix some of these shades. I find that I can get that color when I combine this light green and the brown. I get this kind of muddy, mossy green called Moonstone that's in this palette. It's amazing how similar things are when you really start comparing them. The Tarte Call of the Wild palette. Okay, this was kind of a limited edition thing that came out a while back. Um, I have a blog review on this, I believe. Um, but here you're getting some neutrals, some kind of bronzy browns over here, some navy shades. And I was blown away when I took a closer look at my little e.l.f. Um, eye enhancing eyeshadows to find that the color selection given in this was so much the same as what's in here. And this is called Brown Eyes 1, and here you are getting that intense matte blue. I mean, just kind of a random color for both of these to really match up on. Um, you've also got kind of bronzy brown that's similar, a deep mauve kind of burgundy shade, similar here to this one over and here. you know that the price comparison of, you know, a Tarte palette to an e.l.f. palette is going to be a pretty extreme, so I was happy to find that. My goodness, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I thought I said I was going to go through that quickly, but that seemed like it took a really long time. But I hope you like the dupes. Um, these are fun videos for me to do. I'm sure I'll have another one coming out before too long, but um, it's just really fun to, to find those low-cost alternatives to um, some great high-end products that are out there. So don't forget to check out Melissa's video. I'm sure she's got some great dupes to share with you as well. And have a great day. Bye.